All of Houston knows the Texans need to draft a quarterback. Yes, we do. Our home team was in a similar situation more than 50 years ago. And what happened next is a strange but true Houston sports story. Here's Jason Bristol. Two heads are better than one, but what about two quarterbacks? It's January 1971. The lowly Houston Oilers hold the third pick in the NFL draft, a draft stocked with promising signal callers. Anyone who gets a shot the first four or five picks is probably going to get a good quarterback. Selecting first, the Patriots choose Stanford quarterback Jim Plunkett. Next, New Orleans picks Archie Manning, QB Ole Miss. The Oilers then make their choice. Quarterback Dan Pastorini of Santa Clara. He has a great arm, says an Oilers spokesman. If he showed up at the corner of Maine and Texas and started throwing a football, he'd stop traffic. The Oilers get their guy. They can now focus on other spots, right? Yes! With Houston's next pick in the third round, the Oilers choose Lynn Dickey, quarterback, Kansas State. What? That's two picks, two quarterbacks. But why? Hmm. The Oilers rated Dickey as the fourth best quarterback available. And because he was still available, it enhances our position for dealing with clubs that might be in the need for a quarterback sometime, says coach Ed Hughes. A team choosing a quarterback in the first round and then picking another one with their next pick? According to our research, it's never happened again. Well, naturally, it's, uh, it's very competitive. For years, Dan and Lynn... I feel like I can play well. ...battle to be Houston's starting quarterback until 1976, when Lynn asks to be traded and is dealt to Green Bay, where he becomes the Packers starter. I've been waiting to get out, he said. Still, the Oilers' evaluation was solid. Dan and Dickey finished their careers as two of the top 20 most productive players from the 71 draft. Oilers pick quarterbacks back-to-back, -back. a strange but true Houston sports story.